The first agenda of the black community should be about getting money. And I'm going to explain to you why that is not even the consciousness nor the directive of the black community. And I'm also gonna to explain to you why. Matter of fact, let's address that now. The reason that the black community should be first party, should be getting money, is money is useful. Money is a utility that has many uses and can help you facilitate a power grab. Many, many years ago, it was rumored that Jews contribute 40% of the political money, which means that the Jewish people were buying their politicians. You have to buy your politicians. And before you can buy your politicians, you need to have money. This is one of the things. Look at who contributes money. There are some groups that contribute to Democrats and Republicans because they're buying their politicians. They're buying their agenda. And black people have all of these agendas, everything on the wish list, but no money. What do you think is gonna happen? The usefulness of money cannot be denied. It is critical, it is important, it is powerful. We're gonna talk about why this isn't even a consideration for the majority of black folks. It's a consideration and it's the first priority for the new agenda blacks. The new agenda blacks are hip to this. They're well on their way. They're building corporations. They're building their power base. They're building their economic. But the average black, it is not even on the roadmap. You say, Glendon, everybody's trying to secure the bag. Securing the bag and getting money and building useful services and products are totally different objectives. Securing the bag is a term for, I wanna get a bunch of money so I can hang out and just chill out and do what I want without working. New Agenda Blacks don't think like that. They know that they're gonna to have to work. They know that they're gonna to have to build things. They know they're gonna to have to bring something to the table. But the average Black, the predominant ghetto hood culture Black is not interested in developing an economic power base. You say, no? What are our most popular show? Love and Hip Hop, Real Housewives of Atlanta. What are the most popular YouTube channels? Relationship channels, how to get women. I've been here 10 years. You've got someone who has a certain look, they can come on YouTube and talk about how to get women and get 500 to a million subscribers just like that, talking about something that is so basic. One of the things is I've never allowed the pursuit of trim to interfere with my paper chase. There's never been a situation where I would chase women first before chasing money. I have some culpability here because I had a channel, Disruptive Mail, that was talking about game. Because see, that this is the thing. Once you understand game, once you understand the sexual marketplace, getting the type of women that you want is remarkably easy once you have those understandings, once you understand female nature. But I tried to bring in an economic agenda and those videos did not get a lot of views because the average predominant black male is not, is not about building an economic power base. Teach me how to get the trim. Teach me how to get women. I ain't even worried about no money. Shoot, right now I'm broke. I'm living with my mama, but I'm trying to get me a 10. Trying to me a hot chick so I could have some physical fun. You know, I ain't all that interested in building an economic power base. And this is one of the damaging things because this is why other groups who have been marginalized, mistreated, Jews were never like warmly or welcomed in the American fabric of America. Asians, they were, when they were here, Asians actually were put in an internment camp during World War II. Many, many groups have been mistreated, but the groups who have successful and they've become mainstreamed, they all got their economics together. Every last one of them. Asians have the highest level of business development, highest level of education, and the highest income in America. You think that was an accident? Somebody said, look, for us to be treated equitably, to be treated fairly here in these United States of America, we got to get some money and we got to let everybody in the group know that we got to get some money and Asians are about their paper. And this is something as someone who's dated Asian women, Asian women love nerds. You know why? Asian women are smart. Asian women know that nerds are going to have economics. I was dating this ch Asian chick from Craigslist. She actually said this because she's like, you're so unlike all the other black men that I've dealt with. And I said, why do you say that? It's like, the way that you speak, the way you carry yourself, your agenda. She peeped that immediately. Asian women are seekers. Their hypergamy is probably the highest 
of any female group. They be looking for the dude, they be looking for the economics. And this is one of the things, and I found it really easy to date Asian women. And the average brother is like, that's so hard. No, it's not. If you're in proximity to what their heart desires, because how many Asian hoes do you know of? It's just not that many. See, the Asian woman is looking for security, it's looking for marriage, it's looking to be part of something. And if you are a man, if you are, quote, a useful man, it'd be really easy for you to get with that Asian woman. But once again, I digress. This should be the first agenda item for all black people. Get money. Money is very useful. You get to buy your politicians, which then enables you to push your social economic agenda. See, this is the thing, because black people as a collective, we have a lot of wants, we have a lot of desires, we have a wish list of things that we want, but we have no lever to leverage those wishes and desires into reality because we don't have no money. As a group, we don't have any money. And the Jews led the way, because if you go ahead and check out the Jewish organizations to vote heavily to political action committees because they're buying their influence. They're buying their wish list. And this is something that black folks used to understand. The Montgomery boycott, which lasted for almost three years, black people collectively together, they said, we're not gonna ride these buses. We're gonna start carpooling. We're gonna start working together. And the black, for the bus boycott literally forced the buses to come to their terms. The, the people, like the owners of the transportation companies, bus drivers are like, look, look, give them what they want because this is hurting us. And the racist powers to be of Alabama were like, no, we ain't, we're not giving those darkies anything. And it got to the point where it was like, they were, see, this is something that black folks don't have today that we had years ago. Black folks were willing to go to the mountaintop for their economic agenda. If we don't ride this bus for the next 10 years, so be it. We're not riding these buses. We're not giving you our money. We're gonna keep our money in our community. We're gonna circulate our money. There was something that happened. Did you know that white women had a higher out of wedlock birth than black women? Yes, at one point, white women were having more babies and not being married than black women because black people had this collect. At one point, you can have a poor black family but on Sunday, you couldn't tell they were poor because they had their Sunday best on, their clothes were pressed, they looked presentable, they were groomed well, there was dignity, there was pride. And that's something that has escaped the black community. And this is one of the reasons we need to get the money agenda going. Because when we put money first, we open up the doors to so many things. And this is why I'm creating the corporate toolbox this is why I have my Glendon Cameron agenda to indoctrinate 50,000 people and to make them corporate citizens because I know the importance of money. I know how important money is. I know how critical money is into the economic developer so you can push your social agendas. Anybody says anything deflammatory about Jewish people, they're instantly slapped because Jewish people have economic influence. If you mess with the Jews, we're gonna hit you in your pockets. We're gonna punch your pockets. We're gonna punch that money out of there. Gay people have economic influence. You say something about gay people, next thing you know, you're off the television show. You're fired. You've lost your endorsements because gay people have economic influence and economic empowerment. Years ago, I used to work at a clinic that catered to gay people. The population base was HIV positive. And they came in and they paid their medical bills in cash. Even though they were HIV positive, they had economics. They were making so much money they could pay their medical bills in cash. And one of the things that I noticed was, actually I worked in two practices, uh, Berdy, Berman, Maudie, and Spivey that catered to the homosexual crowd. And one of the things that they, these doctors who were gay got together and they put together a medical service to treat their community with pride, respect, and dignity. See, see how that works. Right now, we have a lot of black folks who are saying, we need more doctors, we need more lawyers, we need more scientists, but they're not going to medical school. They're not going to law school. They're not going to science, the school to become a scientist. They're waiting for someone else to do it. And this is one of the things I've noticed with the Jewish community. And this is one of the things I noticed with the homosexual community. And this is one of the things I noticed with the Asian community that 
people in the community stand up. You need more doctors? I'm going to med school. I'm going to med school. I'm not sitting around waiting, wishing for someone else to go to med school. I'm going to med school, I'm gonna become a doctor. I'm gonna become, they're standing up and we need more of that activity. Once again, the new agenda, the new progressive blacks, they get this. They're becoming doctors, they're becoming attorneys, they're becoming the engineers, they're becoming CEOs. They fully understand, because see, this is how it goes. When someone in our community becomes respectable and proper, that makes us all look better. I have a video talking about the Black People Marketing Department. The Black People Marketing Department is terrible. It sells an image that is so dissimilar from the way that black people are. Because at the core, black people are very conservative. At large, black people are very conservative. And one of the things is with the black people marketing department, which peddles rap culture, hip hop culture, ghettofication, uh, buffoonery, the black people marketing department makes black people as a whole look bad. And the Black People Marketing Department is working overtime. Case in point, Richard Sherman. You know Richard Sherman has a father, but the Black People Marketing Department has co-opted it that Richard Sherman was doing videos with his mother. You didn't even know he had a father. Because the Black People Marketing Department inst instills fake, false narratives. Let's go ahead and take I did a video about Patrick Mahomes and his father, Pat Mahomes. Totally different agenda, totally different outcome. Do you know Patrick Mahomes is about to get married? He asked his girlfriend, his same girlfriend that he's been in, been in a relationship with since high school. Once again, what did I say about the new agenda blacks? They get relationships, they get married, and then they devote most of their time to building. Why is Patrick Mahomes getting married? He saw his father get married. He saw his father get married, stay married, and raise a beautiful, strong family. And Patrick Mahomes Jr. is gonna do the same thing as his father. And when Patrick Mahomes has a child, the child is gonna do the same thing. Cause see, this is the agenda of the new, new black. The new black folks do not do what the predominant ghetto vacation. And also, here's an interesting story. Patrick Mahomes took less money so there would be more money for his other teammates there was a defensive player and he remember he actually you can google it he said i got a call from patrick mahomes he said i left some money on the table for you cooperation working together this is how the new blacks get down patrick mahomes is like 400 million is enough that's cool let's i don't need any more let's go ahead and lease some money for these other players so we can be a cohesive team. Michael Jordan did the same thing. Michael Jordan did not take as much money as he could have got. He wanted more money in the pool so he could get other players to assist him in winning those six NBA championships. This is how the new blacks think. Michael Jordan, mother and father, married. And Michael Jordan got married twice because Michael Jordan, who is a billionaire sees the value of marriage while all of these broke red pill migto dudes who don't have two nickels to rub together ah marriage i'm never getting married i'm never getting married oh you don't have nothing for her to take i am a financial person i know the numbers 90 percent of america is broke you don't have anything for her to take you worried about marriage because see, one of the things that the new agenda blacks get down is a man will set himself up to be married if he's a new agenda black. He will set himself up to be married because he realizes the value of marriage. And I know there are many of you, Big I ain't getting married. I ain't losing half of my pickup truck. I ain't losing half of my comic book selection. No, no, no. They don't have any real assets have nothing. They're just looking at men who've made extraordinary financial moves, such as Dr. Dre, who are getting divorced, or Jeff Bezos, who built Amazon. It's like, oh man, she's getting all that money. It ain't impacting your pockets whatsoever. But this is how you think, because you don't have a progressive mindset. Patrick Mahomes just signed a $400 million deal, and he's getting married. See, rich men, progressive men get married. I know that this is going to go over the heads of the MGTO and Red Pill community. I'm probably going to do a video about this on Disruptive Mail because I see that people are starting to go through some changes. But 
Essentially, the first agenda should be about getting money. And to help you with that, I have a program, the link's below, it's the Corporate Citizen. I'm gonna teach you how to play the corporate game. I'm gonna teach you how to start, structure, and scale a company so you can become a new progressive person. So you can pull something, so you can build a legacy, so you can have a family, so you can have some money. That link is below. Hopefully, this video reached you in a good place. Hopefully you're doing well and hopefully you're receptive to the message because black folks need to put money first so they can have the utility to buy their social agenda. So that's all I got for you guys. Check out this next video right here.